Hi. Uh, so today what we are going to look at is uh, creating a binary file and using it as a random file. Uh, we are going to store a record in the binary file in a random place. And you are going to learn something called hash function. Now the hash function is used to find a pointer to where you store your file uh, file record. Uh, it's like this uh, in, a, in a bookshelf. If you want to keep a book, um, you can either go through all the books looking for the book that you stored or else you can keep a reference. You can uh, create a reference to the book that you stored like the row number and the column number. And later you can use the reference to find the book directly. So that's what random file handling is. So the hash function will create a pointer to the place where you're going to store your record. So you're going to look at uh, creating a binary file to store a record. Uh, first we are going to look at storing an object using a class, right? Uh, a record type object. And then uh, we are going to create the hash function to find the pointer. And then we are going to use the same hash function to find this record. And then we are going to do the same thing without using an object. Okay, let's check it. Hello, guys. Uh, let's look at another example of file processing. <coughs> um, we already did about binary file handling. Let's look at another practical example which is given in the book. Uh, well, first, what we are going to do is we are going to look at how to create a type record um, as an object. Now you know double looping. So the type record is actually a composite data type you know already and it is created using double looping. So first we'll creating type record. Then we we'll look at uh, how to write to binary files we'll look at hash um, we'll look at uh, use the hash to find a record okay. and then we'll look type record type record right, let's look at the pseudo code first I'm going to do this uh, exercise in the book, which is uh, which is right here, this one. Okay, but I'm going to take only name and registration number for the moment. Okay, so the zero code goes like this. Type, and then the name of the record. I'm going to call this uh, student record and then the variables declare reg number, registration number, integer. Okay, so only two fields and then end type student and then the constructor def record equals and the class name square uh, brackets that will create an instance called student record okay simple right right let's move on right what we are going to look at is a random file accessing random files you know if you access random files you must be able to store anywhere in the memory the values anywhere in the memory and also you're going to bring them straight away right without having to search uh, you know one after the other when you were working with uh, text files if you remember we had to store values one after the other line by line 
and we had to go through each and every record to find what we wanted but in this case in random file uh, processing what we are going to do is we are going to store in different places and we must be able to bring those whenever we want straight away without having to look at each and every record so they have given an example here right here this one you can see uh, declare student record student record so that's creating an object out of uh, type uh, record type and then uh, declare student file declare address uh, you can see that we are opening a binary file which has the extension dat so for binary files you can in fact uh, use any extension of your own except txt because we are not dealing with text files and you know in binary files uh, the data will be stored as uh, you know in in binary data as binary is not as normal text and uh, it's a it's a machine readable format not human readable format so we open that file and uh, then what we do is we ask the user to enter student details student name but here we are going to take only the student name and the registration number and then you can see here um, we're using something called a hash a hash function so you can see that it's a hash it's a function right hash function uh, accepting two parameters and uh, we are storing that returning value in an address now what hash is going to do is hashing function returns a pointer to the address where the record is to be found as shown in the example suitable so hash is used to create some kind of reference to where the record is stored because you know if we are to bring that uh, record in a random way we need to have a reference we need to know where it is stored so that we don't need to check each and every record right so the hash is simply a function which will accept some parameters and perform some kind of calculation on it and return some kind of reference or a pointer to where the uh, the record is stored so if you use the same parameter again the hash is going to give you the same pointer okay so uh, we can uh, use this uh, hash to find to locate where exactly the record is stored right no matter where it is in the memory because we have a reference now okay so it's it's like uh, okay if you take uh, a book in the shelf uh, you have a reference to it you have you record the row number and the column number and you keep it so next time when you want to find the book you don't need to go through each and every book looking for it looking for that particular book you can use the row number and the column number which is like the hash and go and find it straight away so that's random accessing all right so we can create any function in the exam they might give any kind of formula for the hash we can create any kind of function and ultimately we get some kind of pointer right and then uh, seek you can see there's a seek function now seek function is used to take the pointer to the address to the to the address where we are going to store now you can see for our seek function we are putting in the student file and the address that we just generated right because you know in order to store we need to go to that location right 
So first we create a pointer and using the pointer we have to go to that location before we store the record. So that's what we do using seek. We have to seek that address and then start saving. And uh, in pseudocode we use put record to store the record. So before storing the record you can see we use seek. right? And just like text file handling after opening the file you have to close the file. That's what's going to happen here. right? Let's see how we do this. Now notice that we are storing an object, right? Not just uh, um, a variable or anything, right? We are storing a composite data, an object, into a binary file. Okay, so let's uh, have the hash function defined now. I'm going to call this hash. Uh, since there's a built-in hash function, I'm going to use capital H A S H. Okay, and this is going to accept a parameter. I'm going to pass registration number for this and work on that to get a uh, pointer. And this is going to return. So this hash function is going to return. It's going to return uh, the registration number divided by 100 and the integer value. So you can have any, any kind of calculation for this, right? It will just return a pointer. Okay, so the next thing is to open the file. Uh, you need to open the file, open the binary file for writing. So this is how we do it. F, that's the file handle. Then open just like uh, text file handling. And the file name. Remember, it's uh, not txt. You can use any file extension, but we normally use that in the book. They have used that. And then the file permission is also different. It's uh, now wb that's write binary okay that's how we do it in binary file handling so the file is open for writing write binary okay now we need to input data for the object to the object before writing it okay how do we input uh, well you know we are straight away going to insert those name and registration number into the object that we created right student record so we need to use student record dot name equals input enter student name and then student record student record dot uh, reg number equals mm, int input enter student registered number registration number right that's a uh, input data and they get stored straight away in the student record object and the next thing is to calculate the address where we are going to store the record right so that's where the hash function comes in so call the hash to find a pointer to store the object okay how do you do it you have to call the hash function. Let's have a variable called address. This is where we are going to store the pointer and hash. And to this one, we need to pass the registration number, which is this. Okay, pass this. But remember, don't just watch this. You have to do with this. To do it only, you will understand, right? Okay. Once we create the address pointer. We need to find where this location is. So find the address in the memory to store the object. Okay, for that we have a function called seek. First we need to use the file handle which is f, then dot seek, and then we have to pass the address simple 
and that will move the pointer to the exact location and after that we have to write and you know we did binary file handling uh, we know when you want to write into binary file we have to use a command called dump and for this uh, we need to import the pickle library which we didn't do so let's uh, import the pickle library otherwise it won't work right import pickle right because uh, what we have right now is human readable data this has to be converted into binary data and that will be done by the pickle library and uh, it has a function called dump right just like uh, write file I mean uh, uh, like write function in text file handling here we have dump so this is uh, writing write the record to the file and how do you do it uh, pickle dot dump right and then we are going to dump uh, the student record which is the object that we created so notice that we are writing or writing an object right not just a variable value it's, a, it's an object which has multiple characteristics and then you have to use the file handle there f okay that will write the object to the binary file and then if you open the file you need to close so we use the file handle f dot close bracket bracket all right so let's see how this is going to work This is uh, the PDF 778, page 778. Okay, this is uh, binary write with hash. And uh, binary, uh, we are writing an object, right? So we put binary write. object hash right so that if the file is not there it will be created in the same location where the code is saved so let's write so a name registration number okay you need to remember this registration number because uh, this is what we are going to use mm, so let me put something like uh, 2500 okay. right looks okay let's go and see whether the file is created there you go it's created and let's see whether any data are there just open it in notepad okay there you go we're going to have something like this and it's not uh, readable to the human you can see but some data are visible not the values right so looks okay right it's not directly readable right okay that's uh, binary writing uh, next what we are going to look at is how to read how to read how to read the using the same uh, hash we are going to calculate the pointer and we are going to point it to the place and bring the record to see whether we can bring the record okay finding a record so make sure that you do this while watching the video step by step okay next uh, we are going to look at how to read this binary file right so this is uh, reading the binary file using the hash function okay 
first of all you know we need to import pickle if I handle binary files and then uh, since we stored an object we need to create the same object because when you are reading the files I mean reading the data we are reading we have to read it into an object object data right or a record data type uh, when you try to import into a single variable it doesn't work I tried it so we need to have the same uh, object and in fact in the book also they have given only the pseudocode so you have to figure it out from the pseudocode you can see that again creating the student record right and you can see here get record student file student record so they are bringing it as an object so that's why the object has to be created uh, again right so let's uh, copy this from here and we need the hash function also because uh, we are going to use the hash to get the pointer again so I'm going to copy and paste both right okay now the next thing is uh, we have created an object also here an instance we need to open the file f open and uh, student dot that and this time we are opening it for reading so it's going to be read binary don't get mixed up with uh, text file handling okay now we need to ask the user to enter the registration number um, so we need to use the object here student record dot reg number equals int input enter registration number to search all right next what you have to do you need to we don't know where it is right now it is in a random place right but we have a you know method to find the pointer to that random place and that is the hash function right so if you pass the registration number we are able to get this pointer and it's not going to change because we are passing the same registration number which is already used to point to that location so what we do is we create the hash again you have to pass the student registration number all right now we need to find where it is we need to move the pointer to that place so what is the function we have to use seek function file handle dot seek and pass the address just like before right and now when you're reading you have to use uh, a pickle function called load right just like uh, when you are saving you use dump dump and load right load is reading but remember we are reading okay let's first write the read function that's pickle dot load and then the file handle should be there okay when we are reading it we had we should not forget that we are reading an object so we need to refer to refer this to the object right the object uh, instance that we created right it's not just one data which is coming in it is uh, multiple data and it is an object so this object should be put into another object so we use this object and equal it to this returning value right so remember this is very important uh, if we didn't deal with the objects we don't mind having uh, a simple variable but in this case we need an object right okay <clears throat> and after that we can print uh, now this object has two characteristics name and registration number so if you want to print the name you can use the object name student record and dot name that will access the name only okay once you open the file you need to close like that okay let's see whether this works now remember the recession number that we used that was to 2500 right okay. 
there you go. Easy, right? Okay, so hope you understood the use of binary files, the use of uh, type data record or uh, objects, classes and objects, and also the use of hash, right, use of hash. Use of hash is to find a particular location in the memory and create a pointer there because we are dealing with random files okay so hope you understood please practice this and uh, pause the video type it test it and that's how you learn let's see uh, what will happen if we don't use an object Right, how it is going to happen if we don't use an object right so what we are going to do is I'm going to remove all the objects object creation here you don't need that hash is needed uh, we are taking the name registration number uh, let's uh, store this as a record equals name will concatenate let you string there rig number this is without using an object right okay and that's the record we are going to store so we don't need like this it's just a record and uh, we had to pass the registration number just that no object address and we are dumping just record not an object All right, that's without an object okay we'll delete okay we'll, we'll change the name right we'll change the name uh, student uh, let's say one new file okay right and then uh, when we are reading also we don't need the object and here just registration number is enough pass the registration number to hash and we don't need the an object there we'll just use record and then we'll output record okay so looks okay let's run it first the writing Twenty-five hundred, fine. Uh, then reading. Oh, student. Oh, we don't need to create an object. Okay. Twenty-five hundred. Mm. Okay. What happened there? 2500 mm. Okay, I, I got the file wrong it should be student one right okay run it 2500 there you go easy right okay so make sure that you practice and uh, you know you know the data can uh, this data that we write to the binary file can come from various ways so that's uh, what you should know right what you should you can act, uh, expect now here of course the user entered the data right we can uh, read maybe we can read from a text file and put it into a binary file that is possible how about uh, storing the data in a in an array and uh, reading it from the array and putting it to a binary file 
right? The input can come from in I mean various formats. Use input, normal text file input, or array input. So you can expect uh, uh, more more these questions to be more advanced with those different kinds of input. But get the idea uh, of binary file handling and how it is used and uh, to practice the hash function. Uh, that's it. Okay, so see you later.